Well, I started uh, 10 years ago in doing uh, researching the concept of, of uh, modular uh, buildings, uh, predominantly ones which incorporate um, concrete roofs as well to do away with the steel roof because the steel superheats in summer times and transfers the heat back to the concrete. It came out of because I was uh, teaching young people to do concreting and steel fixing and I told them that they could uh, one day build their own, their own homes using that, those, that uh, learning process and they said no you can't build houses out of concrete. So um, I then had to go out and find a way of doing it. I could actually do the process first and then go and extrapolate it in the engineering concept. So um, to build the, up the design. Yeah, yeah, so the creator is the one that creates it, but then to make sure it conform, conforms to Australian standards right. and building codes, yep. we then go out to the engineering fraternity and say, well, this is what we've done. Um, uh, do the engineering certification for it for wind loading and so on, so that it meets the Australian standards and the criteria for building codes and all the rest of it. Well, it, it is very important for uh, academic or researchers in the university to participate in the industry activities by the way of research and innovation. Uh, it is uh, both always uh, very important for us. The number one is that it is good for us to develop our research quality, where the quality of the university depends, as well as uh, uh, it is good for our knowledge development, uh, research, uh, higher degree research student supervision. At the same time, uh, we the other point of which is that we can help the industries, local industries, to uh, boost their production. The company itself has been registered now for seven years, and a big part of it is the, the R&D uh, with the university. Right. We've had students from the university, first year engineering students, come out I think four times now as part of assignments on, on our projects, looking at the, uh, the heat uh, transfer from the roof, um, doing an assignment on it, doing presentations to the group on it, and it was really fantastic. So it's about working with the university to try to give us an uh, understanding of what we require to do to meet you know, the, the criteria for building codes, but then to actually get the young people to come on board to, to see the next step, if you like, in the process of buildings and, and what can be done. Not always right, you never always get it right, but the fact of the matter is that you can't keep doing what you've always done. We've got to move on, particularly in an environment, environment which is changing because of weather, weather patterns. Um, so fire ratings, uh, cyclone ratings, uh, flood proofing, all those things have to be part of the, the mindset. Whatever we do as innovators has to have a public uh, acceptance and profile. Currently we've been asked to, by two large organisations to look at taking this concept of modular building, concrete modular building, to the next level. My personal opinion is that I know the German technology is fantastic. Well, guess what, I think the Australians can develop a technology now which takes it beyond the German technology. I believe that's a say, coupling of say, industry innovation and university research and development and students' uh, activities would give, definitely provide a good technology which can compete in the world, uh, worldwide. Yeah. Yeah, I and I was going to include them as the TAFE. I mean, yeah. the TAFE sector, the linear process from my trade background into if the TAFE merger with the university, um, surely in there there's a capacity for us to actually have a, a genuine, a very genuine process which says um, here's small business, here's the skilling for the tradespeople in the, de the design, building of the moulds, here's the university with the engineering concepts of design, the architectural process for it um, and private enterprise. And we've got to break down the barriers between those, those entities uh, because if we, if we don't, Australia won't, won't grow. We, we need to be, get, grow up and just develop a system where we all work yeah. together. Yeah, you're 100% correct, that's yeah. right.